What's up my friends and fans, this is Brendan Barney here, and today for my 20k sub special, I'm going to be reviewing a Thomas episode. What is it? Well, I'm not going to review Wonky Whistle because that's overrated and lots of people already reviewed it, so I have nothing new to bring to the table. I'm going to review the one and only Rocky Rescue. Now, you might be thinking, oh Brendan, I don't want you to review it, I like this episode. Well, you see, the reason why I'm reviewing this is because of one big problem. What is it? Well, I'll get to that later in this review. So without further ado, let's get this started. It starts off with the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, where the vehicles talk about how great they are. And hey, they managed to sneak in a reference to an earlier episode. So this is where we get to the big problem with this episode. The vehicles, except for Rocky, act like children. I'm serious. They all act like legitimate children, but we'll get into that later in this review. After about a minute goes by, the alarm goes off, which means there's an emergency. And as it turns out, the emergency was a fallen rock on the track, which somehow caused Henry to derail. So what's my personal theory on this? Well, the rock could have come loose and fell on the rails while Henry was speeding so fast he crashed into it, and I think that might have been the reason why he was derailed. Also, I know I'm going off topic, but Thomas didn't really need to be in this episode. You can replace Thomas with any other engine, and this episode wouldn't change in the slightest. I have one more problem to talk about, but it will be later in this review. With that out of the way, let's continue. While two workmen try to get the rock off the rail, Rocky manages to put Henry back on the rail. The workmen finally manage to get the rock off the rails, but then it starts rolling towards Rocky, and he eventually crashes. So Thomas goes back to the search and rescue center where the childish derping team say they all want to come. Which brings me to my next problem. This episode feels like it was written by Sharon Miller. But as we all know, Sharon Miller stopped writing and moved on to voice directing. And do you want to know something that's shocking? This episode was actually written by Davey Moore. When it comes to writing, Davey Moore feels like a Sharon Miller wannabe. If I talk about all the things that makes a Sharon Miller episode bad, this video will be longer than 15 minutes. So anyways, back to the episode. The Sodor Search and Rescue team, of course, start acting like children and claim that they all made it to the emergency first. And now we get to something that's really generic. And what I mean by that, I mean something that has been played so many times the audience will know what will happen. Which is, Butch tries to help, then fails. Harold tries to help, then fails. And finally, Flynn and Belle try to help, then they fail. And that's all they do. They fail at trying to help a crane get back on the rails. So everyone pitches in and helps Rocky get back on the rails. Then they go back to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center and thank each other. And the episode ends with them getting another emergency call, this time at Brenham Docks, which the search and rescue team decide to go together. So how would I fix this episode? Well first, I would replace Thomas with another engine entirely because like I said before, he didn't need to be in this episode. Second, I would make the search and rescue team be more mature. Why? Because all they do is derp around and act like they were the first to win. Until the last few minutes of it. So overall, most of it was just the Sodor search and rescue team acting like little children. However, on the flip side, it was okay. It wasn't the best, but I could see there might have been a few instincts of positives. I really loved that tension bit where Rocky came off the rails. The music made it sound like he was in real danger. But at the same time, it had its negatives, which I already mentioned. So that was my review of Rocky Rescue. What the? Did I rhyme? If I did, then oh my god! But anyways, thank you so much everybody for getting me all the way up to 20k subs, and if you want me to review something else, like a, a Thomas episode or whatever, leave a comment down below, and until then, this is Brandon Barney, over and out.